everybody, Rocky here. I wanna show you the routine that we do with Kyle and Liam in the evening time. Come on guys, let's go. Um, we have a new routine we're sort of doing because it helps them to calm down. We figure out something that actually helps. So we're gonna try it. Um, we usually go for a drive um, when it's usually near time for bed because it helps them to calm. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna work for Liam, but it does work for Kyle, so let's see if it works for Liam too. Hey Liam. It's almost time for bed, Liam. You wanna go for a ride? Liam. You go for a ride? Okay, come on, let's go for a ride all day. Let's go for a ride, bud. You ready? Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, you're ready, aren't you? I think he's tired. Oh, come on. Grab your blankie. All right. Come on, grab your blankie. Hey, guys. So this is a new routine we're trying. Trying to do with Liam. Um, I'm actually going to try to get him to actually go to sleep while I'm driving or riding. I can't really drive for real, but virtually I am. So, him and Kyle are right over here. And we're going to go through the parking garages because they love that. So, we're going to do that. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, Kyle, are you ready? Wait, you, Liam, are you ready? Liam's tired. I'm hoping that he will fall asleep. Um, Kyle, I know, probably won't, but Liam, I'm hoping will. And this is the thing, it's always about trying to keep the boys calm. Jennifer, I never have to worry about her. She's always happy, and she sleeps in whatever. But the boys, see, it's harder. So, keeping the boys calm is what's mostly the hardest part. Especially when you have someone like Kyle, or um, Liam especially. Scotty Ray and Bentley are fine, but these two. And Daniel wanted to come with me, so he's with me. The other two were tired. They went to bed, but these two are always the hardest to get to sleep, so I take them for a ride. Are we in red light, Kyle? Yeah, we are. Yeah, I think this is gonna work, I hope. So I'm thinking that every night I might just take them for a ride first and then put them to bed. They've already had their baths, they're in their PJs. Thank you, Lord. I didn't show that part, but they're in their PJs. They already had the baths or medications. So I'm hoping that this will work. Another thing too, you see this five point harness. I don't know you don't see it, but Kyle has a five point harness on because he will try to get up and move around while we're, while we're driving. And I don't want him getting hurt. So I put the five point harness on him and also for Liam because Liam will try to get up. So we're stuck in a red light. So I'm hoping that this will actually make Liam tired enough that he'll go to sleep. Because he loves, I mean, all kids love car rides, so why not? You know, see if they'll go to sleep this way. Um, I gotta give a shout out to my friend um, who suggested that. Um, she has five kids and two of them are disabilities. Um, so, um, my friend Kelly told me about this and I'm gonna try it because she said it might work for Liam, so. He seems comfy, but pretty settled in there. <sighs> okay, too, yeah. Ew. You ready, Kyle? For the garage? Yeah. <laughs> he's so happy. He's tired though too, and I can always tell when he's tired. And we're stuck in another red light again before we can even get to the parking garages. Wah. So here we go. We're gonna go through the garages, buddy. <laughs> you can tell Kyle's tired because he's getting quiet and Liam is 
You guys, he smuggled in with his blankie and his bottle. He's asleep. It's working. It is working. Thank God this works because if this will keep him calm enough to get him to sleep. Oh my God, if this will keep him calm to get him to sleep. Let me tell you something, I will be happy. <laughs> so he's snuggling in back there under his weighted blanket. That's the other thing, we got a weighted blanket. It's blue. And it's got like sensory feeling on one side and then there's like a cloth on the other side. And he loves it. We have a lap version and a bed version. And both him and Kyle have lap versions and bed versions. Um, and someone had suggested me get a sleep safe bed for them. Well, the problem with that is it's a lot of money to do that. So what we do right now is we have a screen door on his room, on their room. Um, and we just lock that. He can see out and everything. He can, you know, run around. Well, he can move around his room if he wants to. But all, most of the time he sits with me. But when he is in the room with Kylie, um, we just lock that and let him, let them sleep that way. Most of the time I don't like to do that because I want to make sure he can get out if he needs to. But um, we are considering a sleep safe because Liam will get out and he'll cry. And I'm afraid he will get out on the street or something. So we're going to try to find something that will work for him. Right? Yeah. Oh, here we go, Kyle. Here we go through the fucking garages. He loves this. He does. He loves this. So, um. Facebook. Ah! Now, Facebook. Shelly Brummett's pause button. Anyway. So, um, it has been a rough day. But a good day. We went to church this morning, and then we came back and put the boys down for nappies. My fat wants to first thing put them down for nappies. They slept okay. Um, for once, Liam didn't wake up crying, which was good. He actually had a good nap, and he woke up happy. <laughs> you guys, look at He's all snuggled in there with his blankie and his papa. <laughs> He's so cute. And his little stuffed puppy. He has a stuffed puppy that my dad got him, and he's snuggled up with his blankie and his puppy. And he's happy. He is completely happy. Just snuggled up in there. So they have school tomorrow, so I don't want to go too long, because I want to make sure the boys get in bed. Because they have school in the morning, and I have to get them up early. Um... And I get tired too, so. Oh, and then Tuesday, I've got to work, so I have to get up earlier because I have to work on Tuesday, so. I'm really tired, you guys. I'm really, really tired. Um, it's been a long day, and I have not napped today, so I'm really tired. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, I'm going to try to get the boys to bed soon. Kyle's getting sleepy. He's starting to close his eyes, so. We're gonna head on home soon. I'm gonna have his book played for him, for them, and put them both to bed. I'm hoping to get him to sleep in Kyle's room with him tonight because Kyle really wants a mate to sleep with him because he's lonely. So I'm gonna attempt it. Um, I did get a bed with rails on it so he couldn't try to get out of there. So I'm hoping that that might actually keep him happy and safe. So we'll, we'll see. Okay, buddy. We're home, Kyle. <laughs> you ready? There we go. Good job. Open the door for me. Thank you. Good boy. Liam is in my arms. He will not wake up. He's knocked out, so. It did its job. He has his bottle, just in case he needs it. Come on, Kyle. Let's go, honey. Whoa. So he is, Kyle is really tired, so hoping to get him inside and we will read our book. Close it one more time. Good boy, Kyle. Good job. 
Okay. Okay, that's all done. All done. All done. Kayo. All done, buddy. Let's go. Good job, Kyle. Okay, so we're about to go and get comfortable and get cozy. And he had to open it again. Kyle, hold on. It's really windy outside tonight. Close it one more time, okay? And we have to go all done. The thing is squeaky as heck. Okay, good job. Kyle, all done. We're gonna go read our book and go to bed, okay? Thank you. There's a duck on your head. I think that this means you are ready for bed. So stretch out your arms and give a big jump. Yawn, and Kyle. And now we're going to give you a go to sleep song. Ready? Ready. Go to sleep. My doodle. <laughs> my doodle. <laughs> Kyle. A chicken's in the back of the closet. I love sheep. The sneakers in the freezer are all drifting off to sleep. Go Look at this. It's night night time, okay? So this is the time where I usually will put Kyle to bed. Liam is already asleep, so I put him in the bed next, uh, with your Kyle with rails on it. And I usually use these onesies that are for older kids. And they have the keep his diaper on, meaning uh, both Liam and Kyle, because those are modern diapers. Hey, Kylie, you ready? This is the routine we do just about every night. I mean, part of this we didn't when, you know, now we do because it seems to suit Liam. So he's knocked out over here sleeping. I got his blankie on him. I got his puppy and his snuggle with him. You ready, Kyle? Night, night, baby. Okay? You sleep well. And if you get scared, you let me know. I've got his light on. Is this really light? I got his noise maker on. I got his blankie. Now, I, because of the fact that Kyle is the way he is, I turn the TV off because Kyle will watch it all night long. So I always turn it off with the research researcher in the back there because that keeps him from turning it on. Okay. I like Kyle. So this is what I do chores I have to do before I go to bed. The boys are in bed. I just checked on Scotty Ray and I checked on, um, Bentley and Daniel. Daniel's asleep too. I meant to mention him earlier and I'm sorry, my brain just got all messed up. But I just put Daniel in bed as well. He usually will sleep through the night unless he wakes up fussy or scared, but usually my Daniel will sleep through the night, which is really nice because it helps me to be able to know that he's okay. And I've got their monitor on in there. There's a monitor camera in there. So that's on in case they need anything. So I'm hoping because their their room is like right next to my room. So I'm hoping the boys will sleep, um, and sleep well. Jenny's already in her crib, tucked in good, and she's really doing good in her crib. So she is sleeping away. Um, so but around folding clothes, we'll see getting things ready for tomorrow. I'm so tired though, guys. I'm a morning person, but like. After I put the boys to bed and little Jenny, I just kind of like zone out because I'm so tired um, from working and stuff and whatever I'm doing. But my my lot of work is never done because I do chores and stuff while the boys are 
in Jennifer her bed. So I just hear from Daniel, he's out. Lucas is knocked out, Scotty Ray's knocked out, and Bentley's knocked out, and little Liam and Kyle are knocked out, so. Jennifer's all sleeping, which is nice, and so everybody is in bed but me, so I'm just doing laundry, folding and things like that, getting things ready for tomorrow, and all that, so yeah, I'm really, really struggling because I'm tired, but you know what, it's okay, because it's just the way it is, when, kid, when kids need you, you gotta do what you gotta do for the kiddos. So I'm really hoping that this trick works. Guys, um, let me know what you think. If you think it works or not. Um, I'll let you know more for sure if it worked. But I think it will. I think it did. Because he was, he loves car rides. And he was loving sitting there in the car and um, all that. So it was nice to watch him. You know, them, all three of them enjoy the car ride. And Daniel snuggled in and fell asleep right away because he was already tired. Um, but he wanted to go with me saying he wasn't tired, but he was tired, so he snuggled right in and went to sleep, but Liam fussed a little bit, but then he went to sleep, so and Kyle, was, Kyle was happy and all that, and he went to sleep for a few minutes, but then when we got home, he woke right up and wanted to go outside and go to bed, so that was good. Um, I got him to bed, I got the boys in the bed, all the other boys in the bed, and checked on Jenny, she was out of it, so I changed her and put her back to bed. So, my duties as a mommy are done for the night. Um, <laughs> one thing I will say is it's hard to, you know, go always, like, having to, you know, keeping things calm for the boys. Um, you know, keeping Kyle calm and keeping um, Daniel calm and keeping Lucas and, and Sky Ray and Bentley all calm. It's not an easy situation because there's so much that you have to think about what works and what doesn't work. Um, what will work? This, this work? No, this won't work. Will that work? No, that might not work either. So it's, it's a balance you gotta think about. And they're all autistic too, which, you know. And we have the major doctor's appointments tomorrow. Oh my god, I had to that. Cause we have appointments for Bentley, Kyle, Daniel, Liam, Lucas, Daniel, um, and even little Jennifer has an appointment, so everybody has doctor points tomorrow. So I'm gonna have to go to bed pretty soon because I have to get up really early for that. And that's gonna be interesting because getting them to sit still while getting blood taken. Oh god, I don't wanna think about it. I don't wanna think about it. Um, Kyle especially, if you don't keep him happy, he will freak out when it comes to blood tests. So yeah. <laughs> I may have to take an extra pair of hands with me because keeping them happy, um, they're going to go back to school Tuesday. I thought they, I thought I forgot about the doctor appointments because, um, we have to go drive over to their doctor and it takes about an hour to get there. So no, they'll be going to school Tuesday. They're going to be going to, back to Fairview on Tuesday. So we have doctor day tomorrow for everybody and then, then school Tuesday. They will be getting their school work and bringing it home, but, um, tomorrow's doctor day for everybody. Cause all of them, all of them need new braces, except for Jenny. She doesn't need braces yet, but everybody else needs braces. Narkees also has to have braces. I forgot about that too. Narkees goes to bed with no problem. He's old enough that he just goes to bed no problem. I'll, I'll say Narkees time for bed. He's like, okay. Um, but you know, my newer ones need a lot of special care. So, yeah, um, you know, bring enough stuff to keep everybody happy and, you know, contained and, and under control. That's going to be the fun part is trying to get everything I need to do that with. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> so this is my carry bag that I pack for all of these situations where we have Dr. Pullman's in one day. Because we have to leave at probably about 7 a.m to do everything so we're gonna get everything ready we pack just in case clothes for everybody and iPads and tablets and 
extra diapers, especially because Kyle and um, Daniel and Liam need them. Extra wipes, gotta have those. Communication tablets for the boys. In case they can't communicate. Seizure medicine. Emergency meds for the boys. Jennifer, I was lucky with her. She doesn't have seizures as far as I know. Jennifer's blankies. Diapers for Jennifer. Just in case clothes for Jennifer. Bottles. I'll have to pack some bottles and things like that for everybody. Because all the kids need bottles. There we go. Okay. Extra weight of blankies for nappies because we'll be napping on the road. Extra pillows to lay on in the van. I basically almost like a suitcase full of stuff because of all the things we have to do and take with us. The uh, air clear first in case we need it. I guess I'm not to do with Daniel, especially having the issues he has. Formula for Jennifer and for Daniel. Drake makes this for Liam. Bottles of water to put in there to make them. Kyle likes this too. So for some for Kyle too. Some Capri Suns for the other boys that like them. I want to sneeze really bad. Ooh. Scotty's weighted t shirt. <sighs> Keys as AFOs, which he'll be putting those on so they won't have to pack those. <sighs> and Keys is best. Chewies, because the kids need Chewies. Pups for Jennifer. And. Lunches for everybody. I gotta pack lunches too, cause we sometimes stop when we get when we go. But tomorrow I don't really have enough money to stop, so we're just gonna make lunches. So it'll be safer and healthier anyway. <clears throat> so Kyle's cheese crisps. So he likes to work for when he's upset. They usually help. <coughs> Which also um, Daniel likes them too. And so does um, Liam. Scotty and them, they don't like him as much, but Daniel, Liam, and Kyle do. <clears throat> Nebulizer, in case we have to have it. Medical binder for everybody. Chargers. Ouch! Dad gummit, what's biting me? What the heck? Something just bit me. I don't know what it was, but it hurt. Anyway. Kyle's dinosaur pillow. Liam's bottle. His other bottle. Extra bottles just in case. The tablet for the car to play their playlist. And extra snacks and things. Just in case. So that's what we do. This is how we do every time. And there's the seizure meds for emergency seizures. So. 
These are baby wipes for our kids and diapers. What? Okay. Kyle's harness. Daniel's harness. Lucas's harness. Keith's harness. Scotty Ray's harness. And Jennifer's carrier. Okay. Bentley's harness, okay. And Bentley's puppy. Kyle's tablet. Bentley's tablet. Tablet. Scotty Ray's tablet. Yeah, this is gonna fit everything. Not. <sighs> I take so much stuff every time we go. Daniel's tablet. And Keys' tablet. And also for Oh, also their hug t-shirts because you never know when someone's going to have a meltdown. For everybody. So this is basically what I pack in my bag every time we go. Plus Daniel's vent if we have to have it. So yeah, I pack a lot of stuff to to go with us. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm gonna say goodnight because I'm really getting tired. So I'm, I'm gonna hold on a second. Let me check something real quick. I forgot. Now I'm making lunches for everybody, and I'll put it in the fridge for tomorrow. The kids like their yogurt. I think we're going to have for lunch tomorrow because I've got not to eat in our van, so pack something simple here. going to do sandwiches tomorrow. I don't like doing sandwiches like this, but the truth is um, we don't really have much time, so I've got to do what I can. So I'm doing lunches now. And um, I'm going to personalize things. Kyle likes his lunch cut, his sandwich cut diagonally, so I'm going to do that. He likes his cheese crisps and his yogurt and waffle chips. So that's Kyle's lunch. Liam does not like sandwiches, so I'm going to make for him a wrap. He likes wraps. He'll eat sandwiches, but he don't like them all the time, so I'll go make a wrap. With roast beef on it and cheese. And he likes yogurt, so I'll put that in there. 
I maybe make a mistake with the yogurt, but they sometimes like to have it, so. And just cheese crisps in there. And he likes his drink. So this is kind of what I do. Um, so the kids like wraps, some kids like sandwiches, so I just do that. And then put their nutritional things in there. Luckily, my grand has table, like table, um, little table plastic things that come out. And I have some laptop comedians too that I take with us. So yeah, so that's what I do. So I'm going to say goodnight, guys, because I want to get this stuff done and get to bed. But I love you guys so much. You are awesome. You're amazing, and you rock. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye, guys.